Remember, this entire manga and every manga on this channel is hand-drawn by myself. And now you too can learn exactly how to make your own viral Dragon Ball mangas at www.makemanga.com where you can learn directly from me. My mangas have got me on TV, on newspapers and even earned me over $60,000 a month on Patreon alone. And now you can click the link in the description and pinned comment of this video and do it yourself. You only need to see the website to see just how many thousands of you are taking this opportunity right now. And don't forget also, the next video to this Ultra Vegito series has already been made and is live now on my Patreon right now for over 4,500 of you incredible fans to watch after this. Again, links are in the pinned comment and description. Enjoy! <laughs> So our story continues back in Sector 8, where after entering for the first time, Ultra Vegito and the legendary member of the Five, Yomoshi, would be seen trudging through the freezing snowy landscape. With a cautious look on Yomoshi's face, as he would realize internally, we've been walking for a while now, and no sign of any life. This feels like a trap. Hello? How much longer are we going to be stuck out here? I could be taken out by this cold alone if we're not careful. We can't even see any regular demons around now. So what do we do, old man? But Yamoshi turning back as he would continue to move forward, would just address Vegito. I already told you, each sector is meant to be different from the last. It may be cold here, but it could be a furnace in the next one. Just deal with it, God Killer! At the very least, we haven't been ambushed by an emperor. Just know, a sector's whole appearance and harshness is all determined by the nature of the ruling Emperor's power. So who knows how you will fare against him if just this is bothering you? Huh? Who knows? You should know better than most. As immediately Despite the freezing temperature, the God Killer's blood would boil at Yamoshi's dick, as he would grumble. Who gives a damn what magic tricks these emperors can do with their weather? Right now, the one here is too cowardly to even show up. So, <sighs> but interrupting himself mid-sentence. A stunned expression would fall over Vegito's face when he would detect a strange disturbance around him. And it wouldn't be coming from above, but would be coming from beneath him. What the hell is that? As soon both Yamoshi and Vegito would come to a stop as on the ground in front of them. A strange frothing of snow would begin to emerge, growing larger in size and more violent in the sound it would give off until... Whoa! In a flash, exploding out of the layers of snow, a gigantified white hand would appear, its grip clawed, ready to pounce on the two saints. As Vegito, still mid-shock, would just comment, Well, at least this'll warm us up! <sighs> but just as the giant snow hand would launch to Vegito and shut tight, the god killer would be quick to escape its clutches, jumping back instead. <sighs> How ridiculous! But unimpressed, Yamoshi would instead jump forward 
into action, ready to eliminate the threat. As on instant impact of his foot, powered of course by the half of Vegito's energy that still resides within him, immediately the snowy fist would implode and burst into a myriad of flying snow pieces, all landing on separate areas of the battlefield. Wait a second! Yamoshi, what did you just do? But when Vegito would look behind the third destruction, instead of thanking him, he would berate him as out of nowhere. Each of the once lifeless puddles of dispersed snow would begin to clump together and rise, almost like a margin boo. And before long, the prophecy would come through. Forming near instantly, all of the piles of snow would rise to create giant structures. Before... Suddenly, once fully formed, a gang of snow demons would appear in their dozens, tall and muscular, but with thin waists, each with a creepy single oversized eye that hangs on the middle of their face. What? Where did they all come from? Leaving Yamoshi completely bemused, he would realize, even when he does good, he still comes out the bad guy, as Vegito behind him would smile saying, Here we go again, leaving me to clean up your mess, eh? At least, give me a hand. <laughs> and with that, the two Saiyans instinctively, almost like brothers, would step forward looking on determined and full of adrenaline as now neither cares at all about the below zero temperatures as Vegito would say Try not to get beaten up again Alright Yamoshi I'm not here to babysit you While Yamoshi would respond just don't get carried away and kill me, and I'll be just fine. No promises from me, old man! As immediately following this, making their first move, Ultra Vegito the God Killer and Yamoshi, third of the five strongest, would rush straight into battle. With no fear, and into the middle of the Snow Demon Collection. Both in base, as each looks to finally get some action in Sector 8. And get some they would get, as almost instantly both would make severe contact with their detractors. Vegito slamming a foot straight into one demon's face, almost collapsing it inwards, while Yamoshi would uppercut knee another, knocking it out instantly. <laughs> but as Vegito would look over his defeated prey with a smirk from behind, in the shadows, another would arise launching at his backside until... <laughs> Until unfortunately being somehow blasted to smithereens just as he would approach the god killer. A smile still on Vegito's face as he would say, Guess your vision hasn't succumbed to your old age just yet, old man. Hmm. A simple thing would have sufficed, mortal. As of course, his would-be protector would be revealed as Yamoshi. 
Look behind you! Looks like we have company! As soon, Vegito pointing behind the third would then reveal the fast approach of even more snow demons, angered no doubt at the loss of their brethren. As even behind Vegito, more would appear to encircle them. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? As Vegito, with a cunning grin, would then look to his side. As Yomoshi, doing the same, would then just reply, Of course. Don't forget, I'm your ancestor. Whatever you think, came to me first. <laughs> and with that said, the duo would then in synchronicity both blast out powerful beams of energy in opposite directions, after quickly moving into the middle of the group of demons with their bodies back to back. The end result being two gigantic explosions of energy evaporating all who would dare to touch them, as the entire landscape of snow is near swept away under the sheer power. And within, demons upon demons would be utterly destroyed, being lost in the light before ultimately being turned into mere particulate matter. The aftermath, just leaving behind two giant craters on either side of the Saiyans. Ironically, as if the two had just landed via Saiyan space pods. <laughs> Guess that was all of them. With the God Killer then confirming the complete annihilation of their threat. And then continue. Uh, no, but still no dice. There's no sign of any Emperor. The coward clearly thinks we're only worth his men. But Yoloshi, sensing Vegito's impatience, would then place his hands on his hips and remind Vegito. Uh, don't get ahead of yourself, mortal. Forget the conditions and weather here. Even those lower demons were quite a bit stronger than what we've seen elsewhere. It all spells bad news with how strong the next emperor will be. Be careful. How about you? Just be quiet! But in typical Vegito fashion, the God Killer could care less for any warnings of caution, as he would immediately blast off into the sky, now getting annoyed with Yamoshi's constant fatherly advice. <laughs> Leaving Yamoshi to once again be forced to follow onwards, as if attached by the hip. And as Yomoshi would catch up, he would comment, You know, you don't need to blast off like that every time. You're not going to find anything in this snow alone. As Vegito, looking back, would say, You're right about that. All I can see is white. And even the demons are made of snow too. This is going to be impossible! To which Yamoshi, looking down forlorn, would reply, To be honest, that may be intentional. It would make sense. The current emperor doesn't want to make it easy for just anyone to challenge his throne. I'm sorry but we may be here longer than I thought. <gasps> Yamoshi, shut it! But just as the third would say this, high up in the sky, the sharp ears of the God Killer would pick up 
on the faint noise of chatter and civilization. And it wouldn't seem to be too far away. Uh, there! As amongst the clouds, atop a gigantic ice mountain, a silhouette of a giant castle and kingdom would finally be seen, and within it, no doubt, the next Demon Emperor. But looking on stunned, Yamoshi would just think, I... I can't believe it! What fate that we would just suddenly stumble upon it! And for once, without even having to battle the Emperor! <laughs> as quickly now with a smirk, Yomoshi taking charge would then say, No, this may be perfect. We can find the Emperor in there, Vegito. We can find him quietly. If we get by sneakily, we may be able to take him out there and then without a battle. The quicker we finish these demons, the faster we can get back home. <laughs> now just what the hell are you talking about, clown? But suddenly, after hearing such a tempered response, the demonic say inside of Vegito would slowly seep out. As with his eyes glowing red, he would say, Find him? No. I think I'll be letting the Emperor find me. And for the record, you better make that the last time you ever Mention something so cowardly to a Saiyan like me. <sighs> as instantly as Yomoshi would turn around, to his great shock, Vegito would already have his arms raised up with his palm facing towards the mountain. As still stunned, Yomoshi would just mutter, Wait, Vegito! Don't tell me you're... <laughs> Big Bang Attack! As just like that, in a flash, the God Killer would unleash one of Vegeta's signature moves, launching without warning a, a giant powerful ball of energy right at the kingdom above. Enough to most definitely destroy it and then some. Wait, you fool! The throne! The throne is there! Causing the legendary third to scream out, concerned with Vegito's lack of thought. But regardless, what was done was done, as from behind Vegito and Yamoshi, we would then see the powerful ball of energy inch closer and closer towards the mountain, getting smaller and smaller in our view until... until nothing. When we would peer closer at where the kingdom lay, surprisingly, for some strange reason, Vegito's attack would be now nowhere to be seen, and the castle completely intact. Are my eyes deceiving me? Leaving the God Killer now nothing short of intrigued, as he would think, That was a powerful blast I just sent over! Who in the hell could make it vanish just like that? <sighs> but it wouldn't be long before a change in the situation would occur. With Vegito now noticing in the distance a shining bright light. Curiously, the same shade of yellow as his Big Bang attack. What? 
It can't be! It's your energy attack, Vegito! As your Moshi, now realizing too, as the ball of energy would get closer, they would figure out what was heading to them was none other than Vegito's own technique, reaching eventually within just mere inches, blinding them both before. How strong did you make this? From behind, they would both already be dwarfed, and seemingly with no time left to escape from an authentic attack from the God Killer himself. Why you? But the sight of such a disrespect would immediately begin to enrage Vegito. His teeth bared to the brim, so much his gums would become visible, as even through the bright light of the Big Bang, a visible red tinge would be seen as his blood would boil. <laughs> as together once more, Yamoshi and Vegito would then join forces raising their arms in tandem and in preparation before... <laughs> Stopping the powered up energy attack right in its tracks before... <laughs> tossing the Big Bang right behind, altering its trajectory as it would ultimately then land flush right behind for a ginormous explosion, again completely evaporating the snowbound landscape surrounding. In the end, leaving a dark storm of ashy steam rising all over, covering Yomoshi and Vegito's sight of how or who sent the attack back at them. <laughs> But even through the darkness, the blood-red growing eyes of Vegito would peer straight through, expecting his opponent already as he would mumble. So you finally show yourself, Emperor. I should have known. The only one of you weakling demons to handle an attack like that had to be the best of your kind. Come on out and meet your maker. <laughs> and as if the kingdom above the giant ice mountain had heeded the god killer's demands, suddenly, like a dragon exploding out of the dragon balls, a beam of light would burst into the sky. And as we would zoom right into the thick of the source of light, a strange silhouette would become visible, moving ever so slightly, as it prepares to emerge. But just as the figure would, the column of light would finally end, leaving an eerie silence in the air and a mystery over who just entered the battlefield. <laughs> finally, finally we meet Chosen Failed Vessel of Lucif. My journey here seems to have been worth it after all. Suddenly, an all new sentient demon would finally appear. More than likely, the Demon Emperor of Sector 8, and clearly, with more than one passing resemblance to a certain villain from Dragon Ball history. As looking down at the God Killer, and third, holding a glass of wine no less, he would spout, I must say, the rumors of you looking like a true demon couldn't have been more wrong. You look softer than most flesh piles I've seen. Have I really got the right creature? Ah, oh, hold on. 
But opening his eyes wider, the unnamed Demon Emperor would then notice something curious as he would continue... Uh, those eyes! I can recognize that shade of red anywhere! Those are demonic eyes! Don't tell me! Have you truly been feasting on the energies of your victims? The previous demon emperors. How sadistic! I love it! <laughs> I wouldn't smile like that! You're next! But the Emperor's words and sudden appearance would only further Vegito's anger as he would flex his muscles and continue... Looks like we finally got the Freezer knockoff this time! Let me guess... A new demon form you recently changed into? As the curious, but still sipping on his red wine demon, would just respond, Freeza! I don't know who you're confusing me with, Flesh Pile, but no. This is a form I have had for a very long time. I have no need to ever change for. Not when I have the ultimate one! Perhaps you are talking about a demon you met here. I wouldn't know. I did leave this pitiful sector many years ago. <gasps> what did he say? But this last statement would immediately arouse your emotions suspicions, as he would question internally. He hasn't been here for years! The Demon Emperor of the Sector? How? <laughs> Whatever. But Vegito, now cracking his knuckles and immediately turning into a Super Saiyan God, would then force a smile he would prepare to begin battling, letting out uh, ultimate form, you say? Funny, Frieza said the exact same thing. I just hope you uh, aren't as deluded. Come, let's get this over with. <laughs> My... You are an impatient one, aren't you? I see now why Lucif chose you. <laughs> Leading to the strange Emperor, then tossing his unfinished wine glass down to the ground. Leaving the sturdy glass to tap along the edge of the ice mountain before finally smashing on the ground to a wave of glass particle. <laughs> and just like that, on the instant that the glass would shatter, Super Saiyan God Vegito and the Sector 8 Emperor would be off like an alarm, shooting off from their perches, ready to meet each other in battle finally. And with Vegito's first attack, all it would take from the Emperor is a slight head movement to make Vegito miss like a raging bull. <laughs> Wait! Where did he go? But as he would miss, that wouldn't be all, as violently, looking side to side, the God Killer would realize the demon was no longer even. <laughs> what kind of speed is that? You're practically in slow motion. What? As turning behind, the unnamed Demon Emperor would then be seen all the way back on the ground. His arms folded and 
looking on at Vegito as if he were humoring him. <laughs> Leaving Vegito to think internally. I know I'm only in Super Saiyan God form, but I should have been able to follow his movements. How did my eyes not keep up? <laughs> Let's see if this makes a difference! As suddenly changing tact and entering his mastered Ultra Instinct form, Vegito speed would skyrocket and... Uh, <laughs> though his attack may be closer this time, the Freezer-like demon would still find a way to dodge, with a smile no less. As looking down, he would comment, Ah, the technique of the angels and destroyers. I did hear you had mastered this. How strange to see a mere mortal use such a thing. <gasps> How did he? But when Vegito would look up, once again, the demon would be so far off into the sky, almost like he was teleporting. <laughs> I grow tired of you playing around. You'll need more than such low-level techniques to face me. So, I may as well force it out of you. As within the Laughing Emperor's palm, a power ball of concentrated blue frost energy would form, with electricity bustling and all until... <laughs> Tossing it right down with intensity like a meteor, Vegito would watch on the surprisingly powerful energy bomb would rush right towards him. <laughs> Fine! The games are over! Allow me to introduce the face of the God Killer! As suddenly, Vegito in classic fashion would transform into his iconic Ultra Four. Combining both Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego, as he would finally now be in one of his most powerful states. <laughs> Readying himself to knock the energy ball away, Vegito would then swipe his arm, saying, You sent my attack back to me, so allow me to return the faith. <laughs> But before anything could happen, our hero, in a flash yet again, despite the distance, would be closed in on instantly. His opened up ribs smash straight into like a sniper bullet by the elbow of the mysterious Emperor, who grinning would whisper, This too is far too low level. Don't underestimate what I know about you, flesh pile. <laughs> Why you? Leaving the god killer to recoil in pain, grabbing at his now most likely broken ribs, muttering, his speed. No matter the form, I can't keep up! This is the jump from Sector 9 to 8? What the hell is going on? All the while, rushing straight forward now to both of them would be the earlier energy ball of the Emperor. But peering over at it with a smile, the White Demon would just say, Maybe it would be a little too harsh to have you deal with this too. Rethink what you're doing in the meantime. 
and show me your real power, mortal! <sighs> As widening his right eye, suddenly his pupil would shine brightly, leading to the energy ball combusting into a ball of flames right before impact, saving them both the hassle. As looking back down at his wounded prey, the demon would say, So, had time to think? How about you at least show me an advanced angel technique? The one the priest uses. I've never seen it with my own eyes. I believe they call it the Seraphim. <laughs> Seraphim? Maybe he does know more than I thought. As peaking his intrigue, still in pain, Vegito would look up, concealing his thoughts as he would think, Well, if Seraphim is what he's asking for, then I'll show him stage one. Survive this, and I'll be shocked. Demon! Uh, Vegito! But already shocked would be Yamoshi, who witnessing the utter dismantling of Vegito just by a Sector 8 Demon Emperor would be completely baffled as he would mutter, What is going on here? Vegito may think he's doing well, but looking from here, that demon is barely trying at all! The difference is palpable. I don't think he can win this without taking back the power he gave me! 50% of him is not going to be enough! <laughs> but regardless, gritting his teeth, Vegito would already begin his next transformation. The realm itself would begin to shake and rumble before... <laughs> Suddenly exploding in cyan energy all over, right in front of the demon. <laughs> Looking on at the Emperor now, with Seraphim eyes unlocked, he would say... This what you wanted? I hope you know. Now that I have these eyes, your little movements and speed will all be trackable. Way to ruin your advantage, chump. Ooh, seraphim eyes, huh? Leaving the Emperor, who seems somewhat familiar, to be endlessly curious. His hand under his chin as he would inquire further. And you say, these special eyes, the ones the Grand Priest have, improve your sight that much? How interesting. I haven't faced someone who could defend against me in some time. Thank you for following orders for once, Flesh Pile. You shall be handsomely rewarded. What the? He knows about Seraphim and is still smiling? Leaving your Moshi now full of suspicions, as he would begin to question just how Sector 8's Emperor could be this confident thinking. Something isn't right here. Vegito didn't actually need Seraphim for Sega. And that was with half his energy. Vegito has now added Sega's power to himself and entered Seraphim. Yet this Emperor doesn't care in the slightest. At this rate, will. 
But just as Yamoshi's questioning would come to an apex, behind Yamoshi, a new threat would be sensed. <laughs> as standing right behind the third, a tall, menacingly armored demon would be looking down with disgust. His killer intent fell all through the air. As completely taken aback, Yamoshi would freeze and whisper, Who? Who are you? A demon king? But upon opening his strange imperfect cell-like mouth, the demon would let out, perhaps, one of the most unexpected of revelations, as he would say, Demon King, do you sense my power level to be that low? Have some respect while in my realm. I am Cobra, Demon Emperor of Sector 8. What? You're the Demon Emperor? Then who? Then who the hell is that guy? As with severe shock in his system, Yomoshi would now be left completely stunned. His body sweating as... <laughs> Shall we begin? Vegito. Just who is this second demon emperor? And is he even one? Because if not, just how has this demonic creature attained the kind of power he has? But that was it for today's video, guys. And if you made it this far, leave me a hashtag who in the comments down below. And let me know just who is this second demon and why is he so powerful? Or just head over to my Patreon right now where you can see the full next video fully voice acted, soundtracked and edited for you to enjoy with over 4,500 other fans as well as getting access to 250 plus other fan mongers too. It's the deal of the century.